Hi Catherine, my name is Gwendolyn. I'm going to be looking at your essays today. First of all, thank you so much for getting the Sentence Guide course. Really great to see that you are interested in improving your English writing. More importantly, you're open to getting some feedback on the areas that you need to focus on to get um, that 7.0 or higher on the IELTS exam. A um, couple of questions before we start into your corrections today. Um, I have three questions for you, Catherine. I'd be grateful if you could take some time to write the answers in your next email. Um, they're all about where you are in your writing and where you need to get to. So the first question I had is, have you taken the IELTS before? And if so, what score did you get? The sex second question is, do you have a date scheduled to take your next IELTS exam? And if so, what score do you need or hope to get? And then number three, um, be grateful if you just let me know the reason why you're taking IELTS. Um, is it to immigrate, to study abroad, um, to apply for um, a different job abroad? Whatever the reason, be grateful if you could let me know what that is. The reason I ask these questions is I, I need to know kind of where you're at and I want to know what your goal is so that we can help you achieve that goal. Um, and work towards that in a timely manner. So if you could let me know that, that would be great. Great, let's go ahead and move on to reviewing your essays today. Let's start with the task two here on doing an enjoyable activity. Um, I thought you did a fantastic job here, Catherine, in answering the task response. Um, you've given two really good ideas and examples uh, to back up your point of view and I thought you wrote a very clear and coherent essay. You've used a good range of vocabulary, uh, which is also very good. And for the most part, your grammar and your sentence structure was good. So in terms of the marking criteria, four main marking criteria, but overall you did um, a really good job um, for this first essay, Catherine. Let's go ahead and read through it though, and I'm going to give you some feedback in the areas we need to improve or um, just change. Let's start. In the last century, reading was considered as the best activity to develop skills and imagination. The only thing I would add here, Catherine, is I think this was fine, um, but just to make sure the examiner knows that you 100% understand the task response, I would m suggest that you maybe re make reference to the fact that we are talking about this in respect to children only. Um, so maybe if you added some language here, reading was considered the best activity to develop skills and imagination in children. Just be 100% sure with the examiner that you understood the task response. Um, but otherwise, good first sentence. Nowadays, many other activities are preferred with benefits in the learning process. This essay will show what these activities are and how they can help providing examples. Good, good strong uh, introduction there. Firstly, so I see you've used firstly here and secondly. These are okay transitional uh, words. However, you can increase your lexical resource score if you use some other different transitional words. There are quite a lot that you could use. So for firstly, you could say um, to begin with, first and foremost, on the one hand, um, there's lots of other ones, but have a think about some using something else to help increase your lexical resource score. Um, so for today, I'll just say, you know, to begin with, young, uh, people, uh, yep, yeah, people. Again, maybe you could find a word that's more relevant to children here. Excuse me, I keep uh, stopping, having to stop the sneeze, I apologize for that. So here, so firstly, people. Try to be more specific there and also make sure you're making it very relevant to the task response. So here I would use young people, youngsters, kids, um, any other very <coughs> variation of that. Again, apologies. Uh, so firstly, young people learn to do something new more effectively when they practice this 
Um, yeah, and watch where you've used the same words again. So new and new. Maybe you could even just take it out here. When they practice this skill, then when they read about it. It is con commonly admitted that the purpose of playing is not only to enjoy oneself, comma, but also to develop um, uh, new techniques. Again, new again. Do a synonym search for new and think about what other words you could put in there for new uh, or maybe even changing it up. Uh, new is also a fairly low level vocabulary word, so we need to work on increasing your lexical resource score um, just to get we can get the most points possible. So look out for that, okay? For instance, playing on game consoles helps to enhance reflexes and to have a, a better spatial awareness. Therefore, letting children play with a PlayStation instead of reading should be supported in order to increase um, new skills. Yeah, here again we've got uh, new again as well. So do take some time to think about what other words you can put in there. Otherwise, um, good idea and uh, yeah, good example there. Yeah, so I just took some time here, Catherine, to look up some, maybe some other ideas here. So uh, in order to increase unfamiliar skills you could use, um, maybe you could use, uh, maybe you could use here advanced, but to also develop advanced techniques could be used. Yeah, have a look at that. See if there's what, something else that suits you think would suit you better in terms of how you want to write. Um, but do just be mindful that we need to watch out where we use the same word quite a few times throughout an essay and try to learn some different words to increase your lexical resource score. Here, secondly, as before, we can use some different transitional phrases here. Um, furthermore, additionally, um, I'm going to just go with additionally today. Even if reading is an important way to develop the brain, Activities help to improve both cognitive and physical abilities. This is largely because doing a sport requires, um, maybe again, sport here, this is largely because doing a physical activity. Um, any other words or phrases to get away from using sports there? Doing a physical activity requires, uh, physical activity also requires, change your word order there. Anticipation and creativity. Uh, I would do a full stop here, take out the but, and then start a new sentence. In addition, it develops strength and coordination. For example, in a team sport, comma, like football, players need to build their power, but moreover, they need to coordinate themselves with other players and to have great insight of the game. That is the reason why allowing young people to learn a new sport is important in their development. To conclude, while reading remains important to acquire, acquire new knowledge and to improve imagination, sports and new technologies like computers play a bigger role in education than a few years ago. It is forecasted, ED, that more and more educational computer games will appear on the market. Good. Catherine, very good uh, first essay here. Just a few grammatical things. I think the one thing I would like you to work on uh, is trying to uh, increase your lexical resource score. Be mindful of where you use the same word several times in a, in a paragraph or in your essay overall. And try to think of different vocabulary to include um, just to get that part of your um, marking up. You know, it's 25% of your score. You're doing really well in the other areas. I just want to make sure we do it the best we can in all areas. Good. Let's go ahead and look at your second task two, family communication. Okay, Catherine, I took some time to read through your second uh, task two, this one on family communication. Again, I thought you did a good job here of answering the task response. You've come up with two... Um, two different ideas and examples to back up those ideas. Again, a fairly clear and coherent essay. Similar to the first essay though, I think there's some improvement we can make on your lexical resource part of the um, marking. 
So let's go ahead and read through it and I can give you some feedback on maybe where we can change up some wording to get that score a little bit higher. As a reflection of the whole society, relationships with relatives have changed these past few years. Some people think that these changes have decreased, so we need that important auxiliary verb have there, have decreased the quality of communication, but nothing is completely nor or black. Did you mean the phrase, but nothing is completely white or black? I'm um, not sure about, I've never seen this phrase, nor or black. Usually we say nothing is completely white or black. Actually, when you say nothing is completely black or white, actually it's usually the other way around. This essay will show um, the positive changes in communication inside families, providing examples to support the points. Good. Firstly, um, maybe here you could use, uh, on the one hand, the nuclear family remains essential. Many parents of young children would prefer working part-time if it was financially possible to spend uh, more time with their families. Maybe you could, instead of more time, you could maybe say additional, to spend additional time with their families, just to think of a different higher level vocabulary there. For example, the number of people who take take parental leave, no A needed there, who take parental leave to raise their children is, and here is bigger and bigger, that's quite low level academic wording, so we could say something is increasing every year, which would be a higher level of vocabulary. Therefore, as one parent is more present at home, the whole family dynamic improves as well as communication. Good. Secondly, maybe here you could say, on the other hand, or additionally, um, furthermore, even if family meetings are probably scarcer than a few years ago, technology permits a new type of communication between relatives who do not live in the same house. People can now uh, communicate through the internet whenever they want and wherever they are. Social media, comma, such as Facebook or Skype, comma, improve communication inside a family as everyone can see and comment on what has happened to a, fam to a member of the family. Thus, the use of computers to have the news of family members has become a new means look at this, of communication. To sum up, good, that's a good different transitional phrase there. The changes observed in family communication are real, but some of them, such as spending more time with the family or the use of social media to keep in touch with further relatives, comma, show how communication with the family members is still important. Yeah, I think here, just to reiterate your task response, um, the task response is about has communication increased? It's not whether or not it's important. So maybe here, just to reiterate the task response, I would change that phrasing and just say, um, uh, to keep in touch with further relatives, shows how communication with family members has increased, has increased, full stop. Anything to make it, always try to make your wording uh, relate back to the task response to help increase your points there. Okay, Catherine, what I would like you to do is create a list of what we call, uh, if we call it an error list, it's just a list of all the things that maybe you got wrong in this essay, things you need to focus on and improve or be mindful of. So create that error list. And then go ahead and correct these two essays with the suggestions given. Watch the next set of podcasts and then go ahead and write the next two set of essays. And then get back to me in one email, your error list, your corrected essays, and then your two new essays, so I can have a look at them all at one time. All right, good work so far, keep it up, and I look forward to seeing your next essay soon. Bye for now.